All right, there's two ways you can go about doing this. Uh, the first way is to do a count if of the number of items in your transaction log. So um, every time there's a purchase, right, here's the name of the item that was purchased, and I'm going to do a formula that counts the number of um, times that the name of the item appears. And that formula is uh, you do a count if of your sheet that where the um, item, it just happens to be in column E, matches the name of the item, which for me is in column B, here in the sheet. And so for this particular cell, uh, it counted 33 of them. And so what I did is I subtracted that from the total. So here my total is 100 items in stock, so I do H2 minus that. So this will work. Uh, as a simple spreadsheet formula. However, because it's a spreadsheet formula, you will have some lag when it comes to doing the calculation and before it shows up in your sheet. If you want a lag-free way, you can use some of Glide's built-in functionality doing the relations. And what you can do is first in your that same um, sheet here, this is my shop items sheet, as in my list of sheets here, right? And uh, here is the total column and here's that remaining column that we just saw. And what you can do is now create a relation column where you're relating the name of this item to the name of the item in the transaction sheet. After creating that relation, uh, then you can get a count of how many times that item has appeared. So I just did a, uh, a roll-up where I'm getting the count of the item from that relation. And that'll give me a number, right, of the number speaking. And then after that, you just do a math column where you're subtracting the total from this number here to get that same answer. And so this solution, you won't have any lag, uh, but it does involve a few steps, whereas that spreadsheet formula is only one step. So it's really up to you, your personal taste and flavor of your solution. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Bye.